Then there are what are called the four parts of karma. You guys with me here? Yeah. Oh, we have to work quick now. <clears throat> We've ran out of time. Four parts of karma. So one karma, we think of karma as one thing, but what karma is it's actually many things. Not only is karma cause, but karma is also effect. They come together. They're in, uh, dis not dispensable, interdependent. Can't have a cause without an effect. The root verb car for karma in Sanskrit really is pointing to the cause because the cause creates the effect. But when we in pop culture think about karma and like in a car accident you, to the person that you don't like, you go, they got theirs, bad karma. Okay. It's karma's more than this, okay? If you ever wanna like get into uh, trying to understand and explain how, how you have varieties of karma, uh, different degrees of heaviness, they're called. Uh, different ripening contingencies, different uh, ways that things ripen. You can look at this part, which is what are called the four parts of karma. There is the object, the intention, the action, and the completion. Say it with me. Object, object intention, intention, action, 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 completion. One more time. All of these, if all four of these variables are in the equation, you get a very powerful, full effect karma, both virtue and vice. What is the object? The object is always somebody else. It is always a subjectivity. You can be the object of your own loving kindness. You can be the object of your own hatred, yes? Mm -hmm. Someone else can be the object of your loving kindness. Somebody else can be the object of your hatred. The doorknob can be, or the door that I hit, can be uh, 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 the object, but in that case, there's no subjectivity there, so it can't bear, it can't have the completion, because no one's there to com to feel the to feel the, the completion. But I can have the uh, I can have the intention and the action, so I get I get portions of the karmic reaction. Do you follow? Mm -hmm. So let's do them again. The object is either your own subjectivity or someone else's subjectivity. The intention is obvious. The intention is that motivation that causes the action, virtue or vice, ill will or love and compassion. The action is the follow through, the behavior. And the completion is the uh, subjective experience of the uh, action. Once there is a subjective experience either to yourself or the other, then that karmic domino effect has reached its completion. That's why it's called the completion. Object, intention, action, completion. This, this sequence, if all four are present in the equation, it would attest to a very heavy karma, both positive and negative. The minute you start having one or less of the variables, it becomes lighter in its karmic repercussion. You follow? Mm -hmm. So the classic one that's in the text that they debate on is if you find a monk's robe, in the street, and we could just say, if you found someone's wallet in the street, okay? So there's no object. The object is not the wallet. The object is the, uh, the one person that's missing the wallet. You have, you have uh, the wish to, to take the extra effort to find the recipient because you want to return the wallet. Virtue or vice? Virtue. Virtue. You actually take the steps to call the cab driver that you found it in so that they can call the dispatch to see who, if they can find the last person in the cab. It may take 15 minutes of your time. That's the action. Somebody gets a random act of kindness phone call from the dispatch saying, we found your wallet. And what do they feel? They feel joy. That's the completion. Who gets the merit? Who gets the wallet? And everybody's happy. <laughs> Isn't it? Random acts of kindness are so cool. Yeah. RAKs. Let's make the whole program about RAKs. <laughs> but first, let's, let's learn like, how it works. How it works. Why is Geshe Tenzin Zopa flying high on life? Because his main preoccupation is RAK. How many of you in Nepal and in India felt that you were too scared to ask him something and he sought you out to give the very thing that you were wanting. Wow, 
I know that's how I feel with Geshe Tenzin Zopa. I'm sitting in my bed and I see a little ping and it's from him and he's sending me some little picture and some little quote. R.A.K. Makes my day. Makes my day. So, <clears throat> object, action, uh, object, intention, action, completion. Okay? If, uh, if some of them are not there, uh, you can still get some semblance of the karma. So, for example, you can try to, you can try to deliver the, the wallet to somebody and they never, it never makes it to the recipient. Does that mean there's no karma involved? No. We can try to make our target 20,000 and we can only raise 5,000 for the nuns. You know, maybe it gets siphoned off, let's say. You know, because some of these NGOs like to pocket the donations of innocent Westerners who are trying to help people on, in, on, the, on Mars, right? It happens, yeah? So it never makes it to the nuns. Do we lose the merit? No. It's just not as substantial as if it finally arrives there. This is what's called the heaviness of karma. There, there, there. Shine.